Denver Mayor Mike Johnston vetoing a city council bill banning homeless encampment sweeps during freezing temperatures. Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio with the reason behind the veto and whether council has enough votes to overturn it. In the first veto of his administration, Mayor Mike Johnston put pen to paper to override banning homeless encampment sweeps in freezing weather. Yeah. In this letter to council, while the mayor called the legislation well-intentioned, he said it would restrict his administration's ability to do life-saving work for approximately four months of the year. The House 1000 dashboard shows more than 1,200 people have moved indoors. With the ban in place, Johnston worrying it would hinder the future of that progress. The goal is the same for everyone. Uh, the challenge is how do we achieve that goal? Council members, including Chris Hines of District 10, went back and forth for weeks amending the bill, which passed by a 7-6 margin this week. Hines ultimately voted no against a ban on sweeps over concerns about sidewalk access. That's the reason I, um, I sought public office was access uh, uh, to transportation for people with disabilities. Mayor Johnston listing public right of way concerns as one of the reasons behind his veto. Adding approval of the bill would overturn the voter approved camping ban for one third of the year and eliminate the city's ability to close encampments that pose public health and safety risks. Support. Council member Daryl Watson of District 9 stands behind the mayor's decision. This is an additional bureaucratic step that is unnecessary. Co-sponsor of the legislation, Councilwoman Jamie Torres, saying tonight in a statement she's disappointed but not surprised. While we made significant amendments, we also created routes to conduct cleanups, keep areas clear, and connect people to housing and services, but it was not enough to avoid the veto. House Keys Action Network Denver also speaking out tonight, saying a freezing ban does not prevent the city from doing its job, saying the mayor has sentenced houseless people of Denver to more sickness, suffering, loss of limbs, and potential death. Nine votes are needed to override the mayor's veto. It's on the agenda for the February 12th City Council meeting. I'm Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. Also, House Key Action Network is planning to protest the veto on the steps of City Hall tomorrow morning at 11. Meanwhile, the city of Denver is moving forward with plans to discharge nearly 400 migrants from city shelters starting Monday. Previously, families were allowed to stay indefinitely because of cold weather, but with resources stretched thin, the city has put a cap on the number of days that they can stay. Officials estimate that in the last year, 38,000 migrants have arrived in Denver. And there are other non-city run shelters. Denver Friends Church has approved room to house and feed 30 people per night. Staff says as long as they have enough volunteers, the church will remain open as a shelter until the weather gets nicer.